Hello, this is Professor Obaswai. Today we will talk about how we can simplify complex fractions. Complex fractions are fractions that have fractions in them. So let me show you how this works. Okay, do you see there's a fraction bar here, big one, and then a bunch of little ones. So this is a fraction of fractions. Okay, um, you don't want fraction of fractions. It's too complex. This is how it works. You go and you look at all the denominators involved. In this case, it is 3, 6, and 9. You go and you find the lowest common denominator of 3, 6, and 9, all of them involved. And I know that this happens to be 18. Then this is what you do. You put a bracket on top, bracket at the bottom. You put 18 and then you FOIL. Divide before you multiply. What is 2 thirds times 18? Let me do it here. 2 thirds times 18. Let's put a 1. Guess what? You're going to end up with 2 times 6, 12. So 18 divided by 3, that's 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Let's do the same thing with 1, 6, and 18. What is 1, 6 times 18 over 1? These two go, you'll end up with 3, 3 th times 1, that's 3. 12 plus 3. How about at the bottom? I have 1 ninth times 18 over 1. Guess what? These two will go. So you're going to have a 2. So you have a 2. At the top, 12 plus 30, uh, 3, 15 over 2. And you're done. If there is something to simplify at this point, you go ahead and simplify. How do I do this with fractions? Procedure is the same. Go find the lowest common denominator. What are the denominators involved? x, x minus 1, and x. Lowest common denominator is x times x minus 1. What do you do? You put brackets on top brackets at the bottom. Then you write your LCD, x times x minus 1, x times x minus 1. The goal is to get rid of some of the fractions. Let's FOIL. You have 1 over x times x, x minus 1. These two will go. You'll end up with x minus 1 here. Let's do different colors. Then I'm going to do uh, this, these two. So I have a 31 over x minus 1. And I'm going to multiply it with x, x minus 1. These two will go. You're going to end up with 31x. At the bottom, what do I have? Let's do a different color. You have 4 over x, x, x minus 1. These two will go. You're going to end up with 4x minus 4. Put it all together. You're going to end up 31 plus x, 31x plus x, that's 32x minus 1. And you have, you can also do this if you want. And the thing is, you cannot really go any more than this. These x's will not go. And this is the end of your problem. Alright. A little bit more complex. And then I did that trap here. So here's a trap. Let's write it down. Trap. x minus 2 is negative 2 minus x. They are off by a negative, remember? Okay, now, so I'm not going to worry about their order, but I'm going to worry about the negative positive. So what I need to do here, I'm going to go and I'll find the lowest common denominator. So the fractions involved are 2 minus x or x minus 2, same thing, x plus 2. So multiply them out. Your LCD is x squared minus 4. 
which is the same as x plus 2, x minus 2. All right. This is what you do. You put your brackets, top, bottom. Let's do x plus 2, x minus 2, x plus 2, x minus 2. I'm going to do a little faster. Okay. When I multiply this with that and foil that out, x squared minus 4 and this whole thing are going to go. The only thing I'm going to end up with is x. Do you see it? Now let's do this one. This one is a little harder. I'm going to end up with a negative 3. And guess what? The x minus 2's will go. Then you're going to end up with an x plus 2. Do you see it? Let's do the bottom. When you do the bottom, this thing is reversed, remember? So in other words, I can write it like this. Negative 2. So this is x minus 2, but there is a negative because they are off by a negative. So I'm going to foil this. Guess what? x minus 2's will go. What are you going to end up with? You're going to end up with a negative 2. And then this x plus 2. Now let's do this one. You're going to have a 1. And x plus 2's will go. You're going to end up with x minus 2. Now all I have to do is just clean all this up. What do I have? I have an x, negative 3x, minus 6 on top. At the bottom, I have a negative 2x, negative 4, plus x minus 2. Clean it up. You're going to end up with a negative 2x, negative 6 on top. And at the bottom, I'm going to have a negative x and negative 6. Guess what? You can actually take those negatives out and watch 2x plus 6, and here, x plus 6. Guess what? I cannot do x's and 6's because they are in there, but I can do this one. I can write 2x plus 6 over x plus 6. Do you see that? Very good. Let's see if I have any more. Okay, so that's the hardest problem I have. So make sure that you pay attention to this x minus 2 minus x plus 2 business, and you're off by a negative. Uh, if you need to rewatch this section, please do so.